everyone. More fun and games in Syria this week. Israel launched an air attack and left the sort of destruction you'd normally only see when the Daily Mail runs an article about binge drinking in British town centres on a Friday night. In response, Bashar al-Assad, wanting to look like a strong military leader, no doubt quoted that famous line by Lieutenant Colonel Custer at the Battle of Little Bighorn, namely, quote, where are all those darn tomahawks coming from? So what's happening then? Well, Syria is currently home to Iranian military advisors, and the whole thing's a bit reminiscent of the 1950s when the US had military advisors in Vietnam. Sure, a decade later that was openly a US-Russia kind of a thing, but for a long time it was a Vietnamese civil war. Just as for now, Syria is technically on the winning side because it's fighting itself in a civil war. Assad has made suggestions that foreign intervention has threatened to escalate the situation beyond a cold war. <laughs> I don't think there's any chance of a cold war though, have you seen the weather forecast for Damascus? 70 degrees in the shed last time I checked. All this is in the same week of course as the Iranian nuclear deal has started to unwind with the US reimposing sanctions. But the EU is desperate to keep trade talks open largely because they love cars in the Middle East and Germany is very keen to sell the US class in Tehran. The US is shut for business though, although as far as Iran's concerned that didn't really stop Oliver North back in the 1980s, did it? And I'm not sure where the UK stands in the whole thing right now, although I'm pretty sure that the sales director at BAE Systems, specifically the weapons division, is following it all very closely. Call me cynical. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.